Hi everybody, welcome back. So nice to see you once again. Hope you enjoyed last week's tutorial and the little message that I left for you at the end. Every once in a while I get inspired to share an inspirational message and I guess last week was one of those weeks where I felt, um, I guess shall we say, motivated. So who knows, who knows what might hit me today. But um, I uh, have a tutorial that I think quite a few of you might be interested in. You know, I read your comments and suggestions. I always ask for them because I want these to be tailor-made to you. You seem to really respond to the hair tutorials. And one of the questions that I see over and over again is, what do you do on day two, or dare I say day three, after shampooing? How do you style your hair and how often do you wash it? To answer your question, I do not wash my hair frequently at all for a couple of reasons. Number one, I have very dry hair. So naturally, the more I wash it, the drier it gets because I'm using a lot of heat to straighten and tame the frizz and the curl that I've got going on. Number two, my hair is color treated because this does not occur in nature. <laughs> so when you have color treated hair, the more you wash it, the quicker your color fades. So I am incentivized to go as long as I possibly can between shampooing. And I have a couple of techniques and strategies to help me get there. First of all, if you've seen any of my hair tutorials before, you know my products of choice. After I shampoo and condition, and I always use a sulfate-free shampoo and conditioner, and I tend to bounce around between product lines, so I'm not product loyal there. But afterwards, I will use this mousse, my got to be fantastic mousse, to get a lot of volume and lift in my hair. And then my finishing products are always my gold standard, my Kenra Volume 25. And the reason why I adored this hairspray so much is that it's got a strong hold, but it's brushable. So after I use it at the end of the day before bed, I can brush it out. My hair feels soft. I go to sleep. I wake up the next morning and I feel like I don't have any of that goopy hairspray in my hair the next day. And that's how I'm able to restyle and restyle the following day without having that feeling of dirty, nasty hair. Um, the other product that I've used and you see me use, this is always day one, but I use my Amp Root Lift for styling. It gives me a lot of volume in the root, a lot of lift. I will only use this product once though because I feel if I use it on day or two or day three, it tends to make the hair very heavy at the root, which is not the look that I'm going for. Um, okay, so this is this is day two hair. I've done my makeup today, but this is essentially what I got when I got out of bed this morning. So I'm going to style my hair just like I normally do and um, we'll show you how I accomplish a second day look. So I start with my hair dryer. I always re-blow dry my hair because as you can see, I got I got some crazy sticking out here. It's a little flat over here and mm, nah. Okay, so I've got my round brush that I use and a relatively large size. And this is just for straightening and smoothing and I'm just gonna go around my hair and smooth it out as if I was blow drying my hair for the first time. Same technique used on the front pieces, my longer bangs, I pull forward and I go back. Pull forward and go back. I'm just smoothing it out at this point. I'm getting rid of any funny bends and crimps that take place when you sleep. Just going around the entire area. A bit down and then back for this style because there are so many layers. The volume at the root. Look at that. Volume at the root. And flip back. My objective is to recreate that volume from day one and so smoothing it out is the first step and then the second step will be to recreate that lift take my smaller brush for the back pieces and I'm just flipping it out and back This is a pretty 
pretty quick, blow dry. I'm not going to spend too much time on it. Okay, so I am kind of back to the basics here. Everything is smoothed out, looks pretty even. Got some volume back. Now I can just leave it like this if I want. You know, this is more of a weekend casual PC look. The messier the better for the weekend. But I'm going to work today, so I'm going to now take it one step further. I have my handy Velcro rollers here in various sizes. My green is the largest, blue medium, and the red the smallest. Again, I'm really not going for wave here. I'm going more for volume. So I can stick with my larger uh, Velcro rollers, even with short hair like this, because we're just creating a little lift at the root. So I'm going to decide my part line, and then I'm going to work my rollers along the part. I'm going to start with this back section here. And again, what I'm just doing is recreating some lift. And lucky for me, since it's got some product in it already, it will be easier to achieve this time around. I actually find second and third day hair to be a lot easier to deal with, simply because it's already been styled and it's got some residual product and it tends to behave a little bit better than naughty first day hair. So I'm just working around and again, I'm, I'm putting these Velcro rollers where I want to have lift and that's usually at my part line and at the crown. So I'm, I'm just pulling up and back. Sometimes they secure by themselves just by pushing. Sometimes you need a clip. It just depends. You know, as we say here in Texas, the bigger the hair, the closer to God. <laughs> it's a spiritual experience around here, believe me. All right, boy, the 80s must have been something, right? Remember the teased bangs and the frizz out to here? That was a decade. A little more contained this time around, but we gals still like to have volume. So now that I have uh, my Velcro rollers where I want them, I think I'm gonna pop one more in the back because the back of my head tends to get a little flat after sleeping. So I wanna give that a bit of a lift as well. Now what I will do is take my Kenra and I am just going to very lightly spray right here. That's it. A few little hits. We don't need much because again, there's still some of that residual product from yesterday. And now I'm going to warm it up. I'm just creating some heat in the root. And this is an opportunity for me to now go through some other areas with my round brush. If I feel it's still a little flat, I can address that now on the bottom side because the top hairs are up and away. So I can target these lower hairs a little bit easier. Warm it and let it cool for a little bit. What's happening now is the areas where I apply heat on the Velcro rollers, they're starting to cool now. And that's what will give it the volume. We want to give those a chance to cool down. So I just bend it around my brush, warm it, let it cool for a moment, and release. Bend it around, warm it, cool, and release. I'm going to go for a straight look today. So I'm not going to use my curling iron. I had it plugged in just in case I wanted a curly look, which you can do, but I'm feeling straight. We've got a, uh, a cool front moving through Houston. So we've got nice dry air and I want to take advantage of that and enjoy straight hair while I can. A little bit more on the back. Just flipping it up. So there, I was able to target some of those other areas and you can already see I've got some volume coming in. So what I will do now is I'll take my Kenra and I will just slightly lift and pull up just to hold what I've created. 
while the rest of it is cooling down. And when you have short layers like this, you don't want to spray on top, you want to spray underneath, like so. And so it makes the ends stick together and it allows for volume on the sides and not a heavy flat look. Okay, and at this point, these guys are still cooling down a little bit. And what I'm going to do now is remove my rollers. And you see what happens? It's got a little bit of a bend to it. Now I can decide if that's too much of a, a bend or not. I can always straighten the ends, but it's got a nice pop at the root. See? And that's the volume that I'm looking for. That's what's so great about Velcro rollers is you don't get the curl, but you get the lift. Okay, and now what I'm gonna do is, since I've got too much of a little pop right there, I'm gonna smooth that out. Just the front area, because I like that a little flatter on my face. I will leave the uh, back areas, and I'm just taking my fingers at this point, no brush. And I'm pulling, you see how I'm pulling up? Pulling up. And I'm going to now piece my style in with my hand. And when I get pieces where I like it, I will then hit those areas with my hairspray. So if I'm happy with right in here, piece it. Just take my hands, run through. Just piece it in and just spray a little bit from underneath but the hair will hold really, really well today just because of the styling that took place yesterday and the product line that was already in it. But again, not too much because it's such a great brushable hold. So that's, that's why products are so important and that's why we all get excited here on YouTube when we find products that work really well. Um, it's, you know, it's such a great feeling because Otherwise, you're spending a lot of time and money. How many times have we been through products that we had such high hopes for and they failed us, um, they you know, did not work as well, you're having to wash and shampoo and do over and over and over. It's just, it's wonderful when you find something that works and actually looks good and saves you time at the same time. That to me is the gift right there. So to me, this stuff is magical. <laughs> what can I say? All right, so I've just kind of worked my way through and um, took everything and, and just sort of popped it where I wanted it. And I'm setting on the underside as I spray. And that's going to be it. Now, here is my, my absolute secret for being able to go to a third day now without um, shampooing. Uh, maybe you see women out and about and they're always touching their hair and they're flipping it and they're flipping it and they're tucking it behind their ears and you know some women just love to have their hands all in their hair. Well that can pose a challenge when you want to extend it to the second and third day because think about it we have dirt and particles in our hands and so when we touch our hair we're bringing that to our hair but also if we take our hands and we're running it through our scalp and we're moving hair from side to side we're taking the oils and the dirt from the hair, from the scalp, and we're, we're pulling it through. So we're essentially making our hair dirtier than necessary. So my ultimate tip and trick for being able to go into a third day is, once I'm happy with my look and I spray it, I do not touch it. I will not touch this hair unless I'm walking into the station and a windstorm gets a hold of it and messes it up. But even then, I won't touch my scalp. I will just grab my pieces, pull them back where I need them and just spray the ends. So the key is set it and forget it. And if you can do that, I promise you, you'll be able to get into day three post shampoo of not having to wash your hair. I truly believe that giving hair a break is a really good thing. We have wonderful natural oils that do great things for our hair when it comes to conditioning them and, and making them look and feel good. So over washing and over drying um, can pose some challenges. So I'm here to help you get through that and uh, to show you my secrets on being able to get into a second and third. and dare I even say fourth day without shampooing, um, that would be usually Thursday or Friday and then I'll go through an entire weekend and I won't wash until Monday. And I love it when that can happen. To me, that's just 
liberating. So anyway, um, comments and suggestions below of what you would like to see next. I hope this has been helpful for you. I appreciate you being here. Um, you guys are amazing. You're so receptive and you're just, you're wonderful. You're good people. So anyway, um, follow me on my social media channels as well as KPRC channel two at six and 10 and click to houston.com where you can get the latest in local Houston news, whether you're in or outside our market. As I always say, be bold and be blessed, and I will see you in a week. Bye.